Hi everybody. We are going to make dill pickles. Specifically like a knockoff Clausen pickle, if you know what a Clausen pickle is. They're not very sour. They're not very tart. The kind of the garlic comes through a bit more. Um, I love them. Absolutely love them. I've been making these for a few years. Uh, my daughter loves them and this specific recipe is only for one jar so if you have enough cucumbers to fill a jar in fact this is a two cup jar it's not very big uh, but I, I plant I don't plant too many cucumbers in spring here because it's so hot I don't get many before they die uh, I wait and plant again in about oh, another month or so maybe the beginning of July and I will get a ton of cucumbers before or by November when our first frost comes so um, this is just my little little taste test before I get some <laughs> some good pickles uh, closer to fall okay so I had one cucumber left to show you how I cut them and then I realized I, was, I had started this video and realized I didn't actually start the video so sorry um, you can cut them any way you want, uh, but I recommend, well, at least cut off the blossom end. They're notorious for making your pickles mushy. Uh, I cut off both ends for good measure. These right here, I didn't have quite enough to fill this jar. These are just kind of babies. Please don't fall on the floor. Okay. And, uh, I just cut these two in half. They'll take a little bit long to pickle and that's fine. Um, I prefer baby cubes anyway just don't have enough to make a bunch right now so again I'm using a two cup jar this is a two cup measuring cup I added one and about three quarter water slightly more than that two tablespoons only of distilled white vinegar and three teaspoons of canning salt got the salt all dissolved now in our jar here in our jar first thing we're going to add to smashed cloves oh, to smashed cloves of garlic just to be safe we're going to add half a teaspoon of pickle crisp. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. Pickle crisp. This stuff's worked well for me. So uh, you get it on the canning aisle store. I think it's about $6 or so. Half a teaspoon. In the hole, that wet. Mustard seed. So we would have used a quarter teaspoon of mustard seed if we were making an entire quart. So we're truly just going to go. That's it, and that's wow. That's really way more than. <laughs> that's all right. All right. Just because every once in a while I like a just a tiny kick. Not much. Tiny kick. Just a little splash. Nothing nothing crazy. If I can get them out of here, we're going to use just a few peppercorns. Um, like I said, the quart recipe would call for an entire teaspoon. I don't even think we need a half a teaspoon, but I'll put one or 
two more in there with the guess of that. Black peppercorns, or I think these are actually black and white. Yep, they are. So, peppercorns. You can use any kind of dill you like. You can use fresh, dried, and this is freeze dried. So, this was two bunches. But we're going to use only a teaspoon. We'll zoom in over that. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. All right, so in the cup, water, vinegar, canning salt. In the actual jar, we're doing garlic, red pepper flakes, peppercorn, supposedly a pinch of mustard seed, and pickling salt. Oh, and dill. That's the dill. Now, if you were doing this in a quart, you would, well, you don't have to use two jars, but if you were doing this in two jars, you probably wouldn't put all this stuff in here. Um... You probably would put your dill, I mean your garlic in here, and maybe dill, put your garlic and dill in here, and then in the actual liquid, you would put all this other stuff, your peppercorn, your mustard seed, and your crushed red pepper, and then you would, with a, you know, filter, Pour that into each jar if you had two jars, and then you would go back and split these solids between the two jars. But this way, it's, it's a small, very small um, batch of pickles. But nonetheless, we're going to have pickles. So, now, I'm going to put these baby ones I cut up, put them in the bottom. I already know they're going to take longer. Now we're just going to put them all in here. Now with this, you want to leave it on your counter. Lid open. For an, or at least somehow a jar. Leave the lid somehow, you know, half off. For an entire day. Yep, a day. Then, you're going to put it in the refrigerator. And leave the lid a jar or slightly open somehow. You don't want this sealed. You want to let the uh, the bubbles and all the gases, you want them to come out. And um, after it sits in the refrigerator like that for a day or two, then you shut it. Now, some people eat these pickles in an hour. Some in like four hours. Uh, it kind of depends really on how you cut them. These will probably taste like pickles in, uh, I'd say about 12 hours, but uh, because of how we're doing it, since these are going to be a quick pickle, and they're the kind of Clausen type, they're not necessarily going to, you know, ferment as they would if you were going to can them, but, um, I don't know, you, you can try eating these in a few hours, I truly, I don't touch them until about... I don't know, until they've been in the refrigerator for a couple days. Now, because they sit on the counter for a day, and then they go to the refrigerator a day or two, and then you close them. You can eat them through that time, but, you know, I'm just, I'm going to wait. I want to taste them in all their glory. Here we go. I don't know how much of this is actually going to fit in here. I know all of it won't. Nope. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. As much as important is we fill this thing with cucumbers. We left the neck open as we're supposed to, but we filled the liquid. I might actually put just a little bit more liquid. I don't really want it to. Yeah, that's 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 good enough. So really, we only needed about a cup and a half of liquid, probably. Um, but I'm telling you, these pickles are absolutely phenomenal. Now, that's if you're not a huge fan of, you know, sour pickles. Um, or if you like the Clausen pickle. This is what you want. Takes a little time, you know, to prepare them, but 
anything that's good is worth waiting for. So, I'm going to grab a lid or something, and I'm going to, you know, put it right here to keep this propped open so all the gas and the fumes can escape out. And I'm going to leave this sitting on the counter for, well, until this time tomorrow. And then uh, I'm going to put it in the fridge. And before I post this video, I'm going to come back and show y'all what these beautiful pickles look like. So, see y'all in a day. Okay, y'all. We're back to check on our pickles we made yesterday. So good. I'm just gonna try a little teeny tiny one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I've these are amazing. Like I said, if you like cloths and pickles, you'll love these. Oh, they're so good. Okay, so now I'm going to go put this in the refrigerator. All I'm going to do is put this coffee filter back over it. Leave the lid off. Leave it in the refrigerator for a day. Then shut the top. These can be eaten now. I mean, they're pickles. But, you know, as the days go on, the flavor will intensify and they'll just get better and better. These will last in your fridge about six months. I know a lot of quick pickles only last a few weeks. Um, now, granted, these aren't going to last in here. I'd be surprised if they last a month, but um, these will last at the six months. And that's because we fermented uh, them on the counter for a day first. Um, you just have to try them. If you like cloths and pickles, or if you like pickles that don't have that, that really tart sour flavor. I love dill pickles. I just don't like the sour part. So, um, anyway, I, I urge you to try this recipe. It's truly fantastic. It's not mine, um, but I'm so glad that I found it. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy these if you try them as much as my family does. Alright, see you in the next one. And thanks for watching.